Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my new playlist in which I am going to talk about uh, Node.js with MySQL using SQLize as a ORM. So I have already covered a lot of playlists around Node.js, Node.js with MongoDB, uh, advanced Node.js stuff, how to write the REST APIs, how to do the testing uh, of APIs in Node.js. So all the things I have already covered so I will not be covering any basic stuff. Here I will be just uh, try to have one baseline code of basic Node.js application then we will try to include a SQLize ORM in that application and we will do our data store in the MySQL. So SQLize is actually getting popular for Node.js as an ORM because most of the people who learn Node.js try to go to MongoDB and they use a Mongoose as an ORM but if you are going to use RDBMS as a data source like uh, MySQL, uh, SQLite, any other database then it's better to have one ORM because ORM is actually providing you some feature set. Otherwise you can just go and just uh, hit the queries directly in your controller but that's not the, the, the right approach. You should have a, one ORM. So first of all let's talk about what is uh, ORM. So ORM is an object relational uh, mapper which is actually providing the mapping of your SQL, uh, mapping of your tables into the schema model in the Node.js code. Okay. So if you talk about object oriented, so it's an object relational mapping. Whatever you have in the tables, the fields, attributes, tables that are being represented as a model and those uh, table columns are being represented as a uh, field or variables inside a model that's what we are going to do here and uh, if we don't use ORM then what are the what are the issues which we face that we need to write a long long SQL queries wherever there is a join we need to write it then we need to execute those queries from the core MySQL library that's being already done with, the, with these ORM so First of all, uh, I'm not going to explain why we need RDBMS whenever we need to have a strong uh, integrity of data and we have a good relationship between different tables. We don't, we, we don't have a NoSQL structure kind of a data where the data is expanding uh, vertically, horizontally. So here we have a constraint over data. It's like we have a particular schema of the data then obviously we will go for RDS. Uh, which is like RDBMS, there are MySQL, Oracle, PLSQL. So for that we need to use the ORM, right? It's a way of mapping between the objects and the, your relational database. Okay, and we will be doing uh, the SQLize, we will be using SQLize for our demo. So I will take, I will just start with a basic Node.js application. Then we'll include the SQLize and then we will talk about the most important aspects here how to do the model validation, how to do a data migration, how to connect to a MySQL DB. So connection is the first step, then uh, we will talk about the what are the different hooks you can use. So same kind of a concept exists in uh, Mongoose also. There are different hooks, there are data validation, uh, there are data, data migration. So SQLize provides you the data migration uh, schema model validation. Whenever you are inserting your data, you need to validate uh, that the content is of proper type, proper length. Uh, so data validation, data migration we will do and we will also talk about the hooks and then we will uh, just see how we can do the association. That is the, the most important stuff uh, because how, because here we are talking about RDBMS where tables can have a primary key, foreign key, uh, um, there can be multiple primary keys. Uh, in different tables and there will be primary key for key relationship between two different associations. So we will see how we can define those association in our schema model because once we create so uh, once we create a schema models we just need to execute uh, the SQLize it automatically create the tables for us. So this is like a one way uh, it is doing. Okay so let's uh, get started.